Right, it's a long day. I just filmed the whole intro and it weren't filming. Well, it was filming, but the mic didn't connect to the uh, the audio. So, basically, what I was saying was, hello, welcome back everyone. Uh, hope you're all having a lovely weekend. Something great has just happened to me. I posted on my public Instagram, uh, Jamie Baldwin, obviously, the name, um, about uh, doing a daily vlog slash Q&A for it, because I was watching Tyreek Hyde, who he was on Love Island and everything, he does YouTube now and everything. He's a really cool guy, go check him out um, if you haven't, uh, but I posted on my story, I want to do something like him. You hear that? Drilling? Really? Do they not know I'm filming? Honestly. Um, but he actually saw my story, so I put like, sending you questions, going to do an at Tyreek, his Instagram style video, and he saw it. That is cool. That is cool. That basically means we're like best friends now, so yeah. Uh, winning no obviously not but yeah really cool but yeah that's what i'm gonna do today got a few things on my agenda to do uh you know gonna hit up uh some of my mates gonna watch a football game so little saturday league thing my mate plays in soon to be me playing in it come on gonna get back into football me and my mate half we used to play together up to about 16 uh and then we stopped playing and then we started playing again for my college team until we were about like well 17 18 we haven't played for like i'll say a good year so we're rusty but we want to get back into it because football's such a game you all love everyone loves football uh so yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go over to watch the game and then then obviously the manager and that will know about us so kind of cool um but yeah that's what but if you could see oh oh I need a haircut, so come with me to get my haircut. All right, guys, so I'm trying out a new microphone thing today. I got them for Christmas from Brooke. Haven't really used them because I don't, don't really like daily vlog like this, but I've got a day off today. So I'm going to try out the microphones. Let me know if you like it or not, um, because I hope it would just, because in some of the videos, you can only hear like the wind and that. A bit dead, but hopefully you can hear me better now. But yeah. I'm off to the barbers now to get this trim sorted out. It is not nice, like, oh, dead, dead trim. And then, yeah, the link up with half. Don't know why I said link up, that is cringe. Um, but yeah, Brooks at work, 10.30 till 6.30. I would normally be, no, I wouldn't. It's, well, I'd normally be at the uh, football uh, on the coffee van, but they're away today. So I've got a whole Saturday to myself. So I'm going to get up to some shenanigans uh, and I've been at work all week like 7 free, 7 free. oh it's been tiring I got to the midweek and I was like god I am just exhausted and I was but I've got the weekend off now because I asked work any chance I could have just a weekend off to recharge my batteries and obviously Liverpool have got a cup final tomorrow come on the fall um, so it, give him, it give, gave me the Sunday off which was very nice of him. So recharge my batteries, watch football, you know, do do some nice stuff. Um, gonna go to Brooks House tonight and watch Arsenal hopefully get battered by Newcastle. But Liverpool clear five points to the table, but we'll see what we get up to. But yeah. All right, guys, I just filmed that whole clip and I've watched it back and it's a bit muffled the, uh, the, um, the audio. However, I've changed the mic around. It was down my top. Bit silly. Obviously, it's going to be my fault if you can't really hear me. But now, look, pointing right up at my mouth. So, hopefully, it's better. Also, guys, I cannot wait until I'm a year seizure free. I've got another month and a bit to go until it's been a year since my last seizure. Um, but walking everywhere is so long. I mean, yeah, good exercise, but I'd rather be driving. However, now Brooke's driving, it's a lot easier to commute let's say, um, to get to places like the gym and that. Obviously, I cycle most places, but again, a bit long when it's, you know, wet and rainy. Um, so yeah, can't wait until I can start to learn to drive. Obviously, I say a month and a bit. Yeah, it's a month and a bit until I'm a year seizure free, but am I going to start driving straight away? It, it's probably not because, you know, there's always that, you know, it's a lot of money to start driving in that. And I'm not saying it's a problem with the money. It's a problem with if I spend all that money, 
and then I have a seizure. What, a few days after I'm a year free? That's a waste of money, isn't it? So, but I'm gonna just take it how it comes and see how it goes. Um, but obviously, there are a lot of people who obviously know me better than I know myself on the channel who like to tell me, why is Jamie not driving? Jamie can learn to drive. Jamie can do this, Jamie can do that. Um, no, no, I've been told a year free. I think people know that as well. They just delude themselves into thinking it. It was a bit sad, but um, yeah. Which brings me on to the first question of the day is, what are my career goals? At the moment, I'm still trying to figure out for myself. You know, I, I mean, I'm kind of young still. Um, I'm currently working at Sainsbury's, earning a good wage. Um, and at the moment, this is, YouTube's going really well on social media. So I'm contemplating social media and that. I want to give it a lot more energy because at the moment I'm not giving too much energy into it. So I want to give more energy into social media and see where it can take me. Because I wouldn't mind that as a career job kind of thing. Because it is fun, it is very fun. Until it's not fun, obviously. Um, but yeah, and also if my platform's big enough and what I want to also do is personal training. Um, and hopefully uh, that will go ahead and it would be a lot better and easier if I've also got media going um, as, a, as a job as well. So yeah, sorry to cut you off so sudden guys, I uh, bumped into one of my workmates. I didn't know he lived around my area, but small world. Um, basically, yeah, what I want to do is personal training, social media, oh yeah, but yeah, everything's going well in life at the moment for me. All right then, uh, about 10 minutes away from the barbers now. Next question is, uh, why are you not going traveling with Brooke? So basically, my theory is, well, my reasoning is, I don't want to go traveling with Brooke. Uh, first reason, I'm settled down, you know? Not settled down, like, not, not, like, I'm trying to say, basically, I enjoy my job, I enjoy where I live, um, I get, I guess I could say I get homesick. I love, I love where I live, you know. People always slate it and say, how do you love where you live, this, that and the other. I don't know why, but it just, it feels like home to me, if you get me. Uh, but I know Brooke will have such a good time. And I wish I could go traveling with her. But another reason I don't have the financial state for it, I'm saving for a house with Brooke. But she has the money to go and do this. And she said, and she's always said, when we start speaking in college, she wants to go and travel the world. So I'm not going to hold her back. I told her to go. And she said, she wants to go travel first and then look to move in and buy a house together. Uh, so that's, that is the plan for the near future. Um, but yeah, I know she's going to enjoy it. I can't wait for her to go. Not in a mean way, although it'd be nice for some peace and quiet. <laughs> But nah, she's gonna enjoy it so much and she's going with her friends, which is also a very good thing. So I know she's not on her own. And yeah, she, she's just gonna have such one of the best times of her life. And that's not me saying I'm never gonna go out of the country or anything. I'll go on holidays and that. Just not for months. Um, it's just not my cup of tea. I don't think I'd enjoy it. But yeah, that is my reasoning why. Another question. Who inspires me the most? And um, that's such a good question because I never really think about it. But I'd have to say my biggest inspiration is David Goggins. You know, he, he pushes through every day. He kind of inspires others to do better. So, and he, and he inspires me to do better. So I'd say he's one of my biggest inspirations. Um, but I feel like I could have another one because David Goggins is more like for the gym and health and well-being kind of thing. I'd say my other inspiration is probably, oh, I would say my family and my girlfriend and my girlfriend's family because they all want the best for me. It's very kind of them. Um, and I keep pushing on forward to try and make them all proud. And I'd say, so that would be my other biggest inspiration is them. Just try and make them proud. It inspires me to do better and keep pushing forward. Yeah, obviously got to get the cash out. My haircut is 15 quid, but I like to tip them five, so get the 20 out. Give me my money. 
and there we are all trimmed up nice and short lovely um but yeah now i am waiting for my mate uh, to come pick me up and then we're off to the football exciting so we're with half now um <laughs> we're going into little to buy some of the snacky snacks uh for the game and yeah, I'm not too sure on the hair. Harv, Harv's reassuring me, saying he likes my hair shorter. So I'm just gonna roll with it. Roll with it. But yeah, next stop, middle. Petrol. <laughs> hey now, let it go, let it go. So, we are here, uh, it is freezing cold, like, really cold, um, go on, oh, this our mate and go here, um, but we're three goals, well, three goals down, uh, well, three one, so two goals down, but like, you know, and me and Harv are actually going to be playing for this team soon, mm -hmm. so, uh, be prepared for match day vlogs, you know, mm. yeah, match day vlogs, and then Brooke, be on the sideline and she can film the whole 90 minutes and we, we mash it up into a game. <laughs> yeah. nice no. I'm excited to play with Mr. Gilbert. The last time we played together was at college, so it's been a while. But I think that it's like a green, green perfect link between us. Yes. So the most asked question right now is about my mum's channel, Life of the Baldwins. Um yes it it goes without saying that uh, what's happened to the channel and what's had to be, what actions had to be taken is very sad and not ideal. Um, but my thoughts on it, the questions are like, what's your thoughts? Are they coming back? My thoughts on it, very sad, obviously. I, I actually was the one who started that channel uh, with a little vlog, what, eight years ago now? Uh, so see how far my mum and the family came with the subscribers and obviously the stuff they've done through the channel um it's sad to see it come to an end just because of some people's opinions and some people not being able to keep their noses out of other people's business um it, the channel was never too oh jesus keepers have been oh fight there's a bit of handbag going on uh christ go on fuck the man <laughs> but yeah um at the end of the day, people just can't keep their noses out of other people's business. And my mum always said, if it got to that point where the family and other people were being put at risk, then she had called it quits. And that's unfortunately what's had to happen. We obviously never wanted that to happen. However, me and Brooke are gonna keep going with this channel. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I don't think mum and dad are gonna be coming back. Um, and I think, honestly, I think that's what's best because seeing my mum so unhappy with what was going on and my dad as well and the whole family it was sad to see so yeah but me and Brooke are gonna keep on vlogging because we enjoy it and we won't let the hate get to us um however it's harder for mum to not have the hate affect her when it's about her family and people picking on the girls and that obviously it's not nice to see and hear um when they just want to vlog their daily life and they there's some sad sad low lives mm -hmm. coming in on my sister's weight and everything and appearance so i think your sister's lovely thank you Marv. so but yeah me and brooke will keep on going keep on thriving and a lot to come in the future i hope so another question have me and brooke got any plans to go away this summer well this year um me and brooke have got a few trips in mind we want to go away with our friends at some point abroad you're invited to our a few trips planned um gonna go on a i think a couple's lodge away kind of like a cornwall thing again but with uh my mate and his new girlfriend because they've invited us uh and i, I want to go abroad with just me and brooke this year as well because I feel like it'd be nice, especially when she's going traveling. Uh, so it'd be nice to go away, spend some time together, just me and her in the warmth as well. Because right now it's freezing. 
So another few questions is what are you going to do with your YouTube account? Are you going to post more? And uh, would you do YouTube as a job? Answer is what we're going to do with this YouTube account is keep posting. Uh, I would would enjoy. Yeah, I'm not going for it. I'm not going for that. Ball. Yeah, take the ball home. Uh, we are go going to keep trying to grow the uh, channel bigger, uh, expand it more, Look reach out that. to other people. <laughs> um, uh, and yes, we're going to post a lot more. It's just at the moment, we're both working long days, long hours. So it's trying to find what to upload. And like today, I've had a free day, so I've put a video Ooh. together. That's got to, that That's one's got to, got to hurt. hurt. Ooh. So guys, we've gone exploring. Abandoned challenge. Look what we found. I think it's haunted. There's just a load of bike. Oh, film me, film me. Oh my fuck, what was that? I do not know what that was. <laughs> the light, guys, the lights have just turned on. What the heck? What the? Oh my god, I actually thought. Wait, come back here. Come back. I thought that actually was someone. Wait, what's in here? Oh, it's not very different. It's the gym. No. Look at all the nets. You go careful, half. <laughs> What's in here? A squash room? Not again. Ghost. Oh, 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 oh. oh, security. <laughs> security. <laughs> security. <laughs> We're gonna attempt to go in this room again, guys. A lot ripped on the Security camera. We're being watched by the ghosts. I know it. I just know it. Then we take you on that tour, my friends. <laughs> What's in here? The sports hall. Oh my goodness. What was that noise? <laughs> what was that noise? What? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what was that? Oh, there's an upstairs. You'd be very not so. The lights don't work. <laughs> when the lights don't work like they used to before. Get rid of this thing, just. I don't know that. <laughs> This way I need to be. What am I walking to a bit of changing room? Let's go explore. I'm done. <laughs> Security around <laughs> once again. <laughs> that was Jamie and Harvey exploring abandoned buildings. If you want more, drop a like and subscribe. A comment down below. <laughs> what do you want us to explore next? Peace out. <laughs> okay, genuinely, there's just been a few noises going on in there, so there was actually someone in there doing something, so they probably think, who are them weirdos running around? Don't let them. Yeah, don't let it, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, that was quite um, it's quite fun. So, yeah, if you want us to abandon something else next, let us know. We are the new Joe Weller and Elliot Crawford. Jelly flips. <laughs> in defeat here, but we're a tight 3-1 margin. What can you tell us more about the game? First half, not good enough. Mm. Second half, mm. simply not good enough. If I speak, I'm in big trouble. Thank you. <laughs> I thought I played quite well personally. Yep. So. Nice. You need to hold the microphone. Thought, up, the, team, thought, the, thought, the, thought the team performance was was good, but just not enough to yep. beat them. Yeah. You think that was good? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's right. No. Well, thank you, you guys. Some Thank you for your time. Yeah, cheers, mate.